Welcome to Seven Up Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are spotlighting some awesome black owned pizzerias. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. Before we get started though, please hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Representation matters and it's very refreshing when I come across black owned pizza shops because they are few and far between, unfortunately. But today I want to celebrate some of these amazing black owned pizzerias and encourage you to order from them if you live in their areas. The first place we're gonna talk about is The Missing Brick, which is based in Indianapolis, Indiana. It was founded by Q Wimberly in 2019. They are a 21 plus establishment and family owned. Their motto is building the community brick by brick. They specialize in indie style, which is similar to Chicago tavern style pizza, but with more focus on farm to table toppings. Most of the pizzas feature ingredients from other black owned businesses in the area, which emphasizes the idea of community. Some other pizzas include the OG, which is uh, pepperoni, bacon, sausage, ham, beef, mozzarella, and pizza sauce, which sounds real good. The trap pizza, which is a seafood pizza, which has shrimp, crab, mozzarella. Uh, it's got some spice, some fresh parsley, some green onion, and something they call garlic herb trap butter, which sounds delicious. And the Woodstock, which has smoked brisket, uh, cheese, and barbecue sauce. It's delicious. Uh, you can find out more at themissingbrick.com. The next place is Slim and Huskies, which is based out of Nashville, Tennessee, and has quickly expanded to multiple locations in Tennessee, California, and Georgia. Uh, it was founded by three good friends, Clinton, Clint Gray, Derek Moore, and Emmanuel Reed. They initially started by giving away their pizzas for free from various locations at events, etc., to test the waters, and eventually opened up their first official location in 2017. The artisan pizzas are oblong shaped and the names are hip hop and RB based. They include the Red Light Special, which has spicy red sauce, fresh mozzarella, heirloom tomatoes, and fresh basil. The Roni Roni Roni, which is an amazing name for a pizza. It's got uh, red sauce, cheese, pork pepperoni, beef pepperoni, and spiced pepperoni. Super meaty. And then the Sino Green, which has uh, sauce, cheese, ground beef, pepperoni, hickory smoked bacon, Canadian bacon, and Italian sausage. It's a meat lover's dream. Uh, you can find out more at slimminhuskies.com. The last place is Last Dragon Pizza, which is based in Rockaway, Queens, New York. It was founded by Nicole Russell in 2014. Her story is remarkable because she's been incredibly successful without even having a storefront. She runs the business out of her home and is very successful at it. The pizzas are all globally inspired. All the pizza names come from the movie The Last Dragon. I've never seen it, but if you have, you'll get these references. They include the Laura Charles, which which is a margarita pizza, the Kiss My Converse, which is a jerk chicken pizza, and the Show Nuff, which is a Philly cheesesteak pizza, which sounds so good. Um, you can find out more at the Last Dragon Pizza. I'd love to know in the comments below if you live near any of these places or have tried their pizza. I'll be linking the pizza places I've mentioned in this video in the description below. Thanks for watching as always. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, ciao for now.